Lakini pia ningependa sana sana kuwashukuru wazazi wangu, kaka yangu Alfred na mdogo wangu pia Rayford kwa kunipa ushirikiano na kunivumilia tangu nilipoanza kuandika kitabu changu. Mwisho napenda kuwashukuru nyinyi nyote kwa kuacha shughuli zenu mbalimbali na kuja kuungana nami katika siku hii muhimu sana kwangu. Asanteni na Mungu awabariki nyote. Nilesi mama mbele yenu kwa majina naitwa Rafat Al Simba na miaka kumi na ni mwanafunzi wa darasa la sita. pia mimi ni mwandishi wa vitabu na mzungumzaji wa hadhara uh, motivational speaker kwa mwandishi wa vitabu na mwongezaji wa hadhara haikuwa kazi rahisi kuna safari ndefu sana nyuma ya mafanikio yangu lakini pia nategemea kuwa na safari ndefu zaidi kufikia malengo yangu ya baadaye je ungependa kufahamu uh, ungependa kufahamu safari hii ndefu basi na hom, naomba unisikilize nimeanza kupenda kusoma wakati nilipokuwa mwaka wa tatu katika shule ya awali mwalimu wetu alikuwa ana kawaida ya kutusomea hadithi mbalimbali tulikuwa tunaoneshwa picha za vitabu lakini pia alikuwa kwa wakati mwingine alikuwa anatupa nafasi ya kuweza kuigiza tulichokisoma kwenye kitabu ili tuweze kutafsiri kitabu kwa mawazo yetu wenyewe nilisoma mwaka wa tatu wa shule ya awali kwa miezi mitatu tu yani muhula wa kwanza kwani uongozi wa shule uliamua kuwa kwa uwezo wangu na natakiwa kuwa darasa la kwanza. Kwa hiyo ni wazi kuwa sikufanikiwa kufanya sherehe ya kumaliza shule ya awali na ndio maana nina shauku kubwa ya kuingia darasa la saba ili na mimi niweze kushiriki sherehe ya kumaliza shule yani graduation kwa mara ya kwanza maisha ni mwangu. Wakati nikiwa darasa la kwanza kulikuwa na shughuli mbalimbali zilizopelekea kujenga uwezo wangu wa kusoma na kuandika. Kulikuwa na mashindano ya kuandika maneno, yani spelling bees, mashindano ya kusoma, reading competitions na mashindano ya kuandika taarifa kwa ufupi, summary writing competitions. Nilijitahidi kushiriki kwenye mashindano haya kila wakati na hata pale niliposhindwa sikukata tamaa bali nilisonga mbele. Ndugu zangu hapa kuna kitu cha kujifunza. Na kuhakikisha kutokukata tamaa hata kama unapitia magumu kiasi gani. Kwa kusonga mbele na utafanikiwa. kuandika kitabu hiki changu cha the first female president rais wetu mpendwa mheshimiwa dr Samia Hassan kwa kuwa ndiye rais wa kwanza mwanamke katika nchi yetu hii ya Tanzania ni ukweli usiofichika kwamba sisi kupata rais wa kwanza mwanamke ilishangaza sana na hii si kwa Tanzania tu bali ni nchi zote uh, kwa ukanda huu wa Afrika Mashariki kwani tangu nilipozaliwa nilikuwa nikisikia marais wa kiume mpaka na akili zangu za utoto nikadhani kwamba ni wanaume tu wanaopaswa kuwa marais pamoja na kushangaa huko niliona inaweza kuwa fursa ya kuweza ya kutumia kuhamasisha watoto wenzangu kwa ujumla wakike kutokuruhusu watu wengine kuonyesha tamaa Leo wakati naitangazia rasmi dunia ninaandika kitabu changu hiki kitabadilisha maisha watu wengi Utakapoondoka hapa leo dini hautakuwa sawa na ulivyoingia asubuhi Kama nilivyosema uh, kama nilivyosema hapo mwanzo mimi ni mwandishi mimi ni mwandishi wa kitabu cha The First Female President. Niliandika kitabu hiki ili kuweza kubadilisha maisha ya watoto na hata ya watu wazima na mambo yafuatayo ndio utakayo kutana nayo pindi utakaposoma kitabu hiki. Kwa heshima kubwa na waomba ni yaseme haya kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Firstly, one will gain confidence in him or herself. After reading the first female president book, you will 
unique and special and that you should never co and that you should never compare yourself with others. If you consider this and tell it to yourself every day, you will gain confidence in yourself. The confidence I mean here is the one where you will be comfortable children can get a role model from the book, who is the main character, portraying her skills throughout the story. Sakina will be a great role model to children all over the world. This is because nowadays, due to lack of enough information, most children use different people who do not abide by our customs and traditions to be their role models. This isn't good because these people portray behaviors that are not healthy for the mentality of the child. Therefore, Sakina, as the main character in the book, will be the best for children. Since her whole life tale is decent and disciplined, therefore she may wrap up her obedience and behaviors towards the children who read my book thoroughly. Also in my book, it talks about the ways how Sakina struggled and portrays a sense of resilience and self-discipline and how it highly impacted on her being successful as the first female president according to my book. Thirdly, the book will build the reading skills and habits of the child. The first female president book has an interesting story that just pulls the reader to keep on reading. Also, it has a lot of vocabulary that could boost the English of the reader. The book also has a good number of pages that make sure the reader never stops reading until he or she is done. Kwa hiyo, kwa maoni yangu, haya ndiyo mambo muhimu ya tatu kwa kwaweza kujifunza kwa kutabu hiki, yani kujiamini, kukuongoza na kutaidia kutimiza malengo ya na kujenga tabia ya kupenda kusoma. Hata msingi na muhimu kwa yote anaweza kupata mafanikio maishani. Hivyo basi, hakikisha kitabu chako mapema hapo kumbini kwa kipekee. Na pia tofauti na mambo matatu leo yataja hapa. Kuna ujuzi mbalimbali utakao utapata kusoma kitabu wewe mwenyewe. Pride.